All right, I'm Tandra, I'm here with Red again, and I'm gonna do the advanced backing exercises on the ground. So, um, I'm not sure if I've done this with him, I don't think so. I might have backed him like kind of with a bend a little bit once, but um, I'm gonna start doing um, angles and then circles. So, um, you gotta have a good backup already, um, and then you're just gonna get specific with it and where he wants, to, where you want him to be and how fast you want them to go. So, I'm just going to have him start and I'm just going to do an angle here. I'm going to back him up and then have him turn to my right here. Okay, so I'm just going to have it, I'm just, it's going to be in response to the rope pressure because I can be a little bit, I can control it more um, once it's on the halter and then it's going to also translate to under saddle a lot more. So you can do it in the other ways to back him up, but this way makes the most sense for ridden work. Okay, back. A little bit more energy and then I'm gonna push toward away from me opposite shoulder to get that angle so you push away to turn towards you good and so he took some really nice steps right there so I'm gonna go ahead and reward him then I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna do a different angle to my left here okay back so he's nice and white I want him to straighten out a little bit. He, it's like he's anticipating just a bit. So I'm going to pull his head toward me a little. Nice and straight. Okay, now I'm going to push it away. Swing that butt toward me. Swing it away. Kind of push from shoulder to shoulder. I want him straight, but I want him... He's stuck. There we go. And then I release. I want him a little bit straighter and a little less sticky. So I'm just pulling side to side. So he unstuck there and was lighter, so I'm gonna release and then reward him. So I just have this and I'm just gonna pull it from side to side. And then when he's um, when he's unstuck, I'm just releasing. So you're gonna, you're gonna see my hand still on here. So like I was pulling side to side, my hand was pulling and then release. Like my hand's still on the rope, but I'm, there's no pressure. It's just all around it. So that's um, basically the angles. Um, I'm gonna do this one again since it was a little sloppy. So start off real light, adds a click um, or a cluck there. That was nice. And then I'm gonna, Oop. I think that was the wrong angle. <laughs> Push him away. A little bit more speed going this way. Push him away. Good, that was nice. So he had a good two steps there, so I'm gonna release and click at the same time that he was taking the steps. So my my clock or my bridge cue is gonna be a little bit before the release, because right as he steps back, click, release. Okay, so he can do that really well. So I'm gonna work on a circle. So I'm gonna do his good side first, which is to the left, um, and then I'll do the other side. So same kind of thing, but a little more direction. Push his head away. I want to go around this way. Straighten him out. Around this way. Straighten him. Yeah, he's a lot better on this side. Straighten him out. He's just going to make a small circle at first. Push his head away. Kind of put the butt. Back up. Push his head. Oop. Go straight. Straight back. Push his head. Push his head. Good. That was really nice. He's really, he's really nice on that side. The other side, not so much. So I'm just... It's more, it's not a perfect circle, obviously. It's more like a little, like, octagon or stop sorry looking shape. So he's back and turn, back and turn. Do one of those. Okay. So I'll do the same thing on this side. This was a sticky side. Push his head away. Back up straight. So it's kind of every, like, step. Push his head away. Back up straight. Push his head away. More of a circle here. There we go. It's from releasing because he was backing up real nice there. Just cluck into him, add more energy. Good. Push his head away. Very nice. That was actually not too bad. All right. Um, he could get a little bit better on this side, especially with the angles, but I'm really not too worried about it. Um, uh, this is just 
just to get a more handle on your horse, make it more maneuverable in the trailer, in this barn, in the stall, all that stuff, obstacles. And then really it's just uh, to help you with your under saddle work. So I'm happy with that. Um, if it looks like that, I would be happy with that. And then I would just kind of move on to the next lesson.